Greetings and welcome to Oil for the Journey. I am your journey reader, James Sutherland. Today we are reading Isaiah 25 through 27, following the Bridges for Peace reading plan. Let's open up in prayer and uh, to kick food. Heavenly Father, uh, your word is living and active, sharper than a two edged sword. Our souls and lives and and hearts and minds of those around us, Lord. Forgive us for when we fall short, Lord. May we be a people of repentance and turn away from any ways back to you, our one and only creator of heaven and earth, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Day of 25. O Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name, for you have done wonderful things. Plans formed of old, faithful and sure. You have made the city a heap, the fortified city a ruin. The foreigner's palace, palace is a city no more. It will never be rebuilt. Therefore, strong peoples will glory you. Cities of ruthless nation will fear you, for you have been a stronghold to the poor, stronghold to the needy in distress, a shelter from the storm, and a shade from the heat. For the breath of the ruthless is like a storm against the wall, like heat dry place. You subdue the noise of the foreigner as heat by the shade of a cloud. So the song of the ruthless. On this mountain the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, food full of morrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away fear from all faces. At the reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken, it will be said on that day, Behold, our God, we have waited for him, that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. For the hand of the Lord will rest on this mountain, and Moab shall be trampled down in his place. I was trampled down in a detail. He will spread out his hands in the midst of it, as a swimmer spreads his hands out to swim. The Lord will lay low his pompous pride together with the skill of his hands. And the high fortifications of his walls he will bring down, lay low, and cast to the ground, to the dust. Chapter 20 In that day this song will be sung in the land of Judah. From a strong city he sets up salvation as walls and bulwarks. Open the gates that the right nation and faith may enter in. You keep him in perfect peace. The mind is stayed on you, because he trusts in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord God is an everlasting rock. For he humbled the inhabitants of the lofty city. He lays it low, lays it low to the ground, casts it to the dust. The foot tramples it, the feet of the poor, the steps of the needy. Path of the righteous is level. You make level the way of the righteous. In the path of your judgments, O Lord, we wait for you. Your name and remembrance are the desire of our soul. My soul yearns for you in the night. My spirit within me earnestly seeks you. For when your judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world learn righteousness. Favor is shown to the wicked. He does not learn righteousness. 
in the land of, of uprightness yields corruptly and does not see the majesty of the Lord. O Lord, your hand is lifted up, but they do not see it. Let them see your zeal for your people and be ashamed. Let the fire for your adversaries consume them. O Lord, you will ordain peace for us. You have indeed done for us all our works. O Lord, our God, other lords besides you have ruled over us, but your name alone we bring. They are dead, will not live. Our shades, they will not arise. For that end, you have visited them and wiped out all remembrance of them. But you have increased the nation, O Lord. You have increased the nation. You are glorified. You have enlarged all the borders of the land. O Lord, in distress they sought you. They poured out a whispered prayer when your discipline was upon them. Like a pregnant woman who writhes and cries out in her pangs when she is near to giving birth, so were we because of you, O Lord. We were pregnant, we writhed, but we have given birth to wind. We have accomplished no deliverance in the earth, and the inhabitants of the world have not fallen. Your dead shall live, their bodies shall rise. You who dwell in the dust awake and sing for joy. For your dew is the dew of light, and the earth will give birth to the dead. Come, my people, enter your chambers and shut your doors behind you. Hide yourselves for a little while until the fury comes by. Behold, the Lord is coming out from his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth will dispose the bloodshed on it and will no more cover its slain. Isaiah 27. In that day the Lord with his hard and great and strong sword will punish Leviathan the fiend serpent, Leviathan the twisted serpent. He will play the dragon that is in the sea. In that day a pleasant vineyard, sing of it. I the Lord am its keeper. Every moment I water it, lest anyone punish it. Keep it night and day. I have no wrath with that. Thorns and briars to battle. It marked against them. I would burn them up together or let them lay hold of my prey. Let them make peace with me. Let them make peace with me. In days to come, Jacob shall take root. Israel shall blossom and put forth seeds. Whole world with fruit. Has he struck them? Has he struck them? those who struck them, or have they been slain, as their slayers were slain? Measure by measure, I, by exile, you contended with them. Remove them with his fierce breath in the day of the east wind. Therefore, by this, the guilt of Jacob will be atoned for, and this will be the full fruit of the removal of sin, when he makes all the stones of the altars like chalk stones crushed to pieces. No ashram of incense altars will remain standing. For the fortified city is solitary, a habitation deserted and forsaken. The wilderness, there the calf grazes, where it lies down and strips it its branches. When it bows are dry, they are broken. Women come and make a fire of them, for this is a people without discernment. Therefore, he who made them will not have compassion on them. He who formed them will show them no favor. In that day, from the river Euphrates to the book of Egypt, the Lord will stretch out the grain, and you will be gleaned one by one, O people of Israel. In that day, a great trumpet will blown, be blown, and those who were lost in the land of Assyria, and those who were driven out of the land of Egypt, will come and worship the Lord on the holy mountain. At Jerusalem. All God's people. Amen to the reading of the Word of God. Um, this is James Sutherland. Thank you for allowing me to uh, read the living Word of God to you this morning, today. And I pray that you and your family and community and body of believers 
grow more intimate in your knowledge of our Lord and Savior and take practice of his word in your community. In his mighty name, amen.